Hello and welcome to this video on Emacs. Uh, as previously stated, uh, I'm going to look at my JavaScript setup. I'm going to get it set up in my tutorial configuration. Hopefully it all works. Uh, previous episodes I have done, I have set up Flycheck and Company, which are just useful things to have uh, for any programming language, but today I am going to concentrate on uh, JavaScript. So the things that we're going to be using are RJSX mode, which, um, well, well, let me show you. It's a major mode for editing JSX files. Uh, it's based on JS2 mode um, and it adds support for uh, the JSX syntax and it adds a couple of nice little keyboard shortcuts such as Control D uh, to um, create the closing node, closing tag, and puts the cursor between the tags so you can add content and it lets you um, replace the, um, the name of a tag. So you can go into the tag and replace the name or change the name, change the type of tag that it is. Uh, we're also going to look at Tide. So this is TypeScript interactive development environment for Emacs. Um, Tide is pretty big. It is for TypeScript. It's pretty intense. There's a lot of conf or there are many configuration options. Um, I don't do most of them because I just the things that I the, that I want to use it for is this jump to definition and return to your pre-jump position, which I'll show you. Uh, again, there's loads of other things that you can do. Rename file, symbol, refactor. It does loads of refactoring. I barely ever use that stuff. Um, I haven't had I haven't had the need to yet. Maybe I will in the future, and if I do, I'll um I'll let you know. And the last thing we're going to look at is prettier. So prettier JS. So this is um an opinionated. This is an opinionated um, uh, JavaScript formatter, uh, JavaScript linter. So on save, Prettier will um, basically fix any errors to the Prettier way. And if you don't know what Prettier is, have a look. Uh, some people hate it because it goes against the way that they code. I like it because it's just, especially when you work on, work on projects with a lot of people, it just enforces a, a style. Um, so the other things we're going to look at. So, I mean, let's just get on with it. So in here, I'm going to create a new, I'm just going to create a JavaScript section just to keep these things in the same place. So we're going to have RJSX uh, mode, we're going to have Tide, and we're going to have Prettier. And I'll just, I'll add them all, and then I'll show you what they all do. Emacs Lisp. So, RJSX mode. It is in Melper, so you can just use package. Ooh, if I could type, there we go. RJSX, RJSX mode. Uh, we ensure that it's installed, and then I specifically set the mode to be. So this is the. the you can basically add a, add some strings about which file extensions you want uh, RJSX mode to. Um, be loaded on or to be active on um i think by default it only does it on .jsx files maybe um i just set it to be on all javascript files because it has it's built on js2 mode um it has all the features that js2 mode has for normal javascript and i happen in my projects i happen to i don't differentiate um, between JSX files and non-JSX files, uh, I just use .js for everything. So this is just a catch-all, and it'll work for all my JS files because I don't actually have any projects that have JSX or TS or whatever. I just use .js because because I do. Um, okay, so that's that one. That's all we need to do there. Um, we'll save that. Let's also add Tide while we're at it. So our JSX mode. Uh, doesn't need any, it doesn't have any dependencies. However, Tide does. So you do need to npm, you do need to have TypeScript installed globally. So you can npm install, or npm install hyphen g uh, TypeScript. So you need to have TypeScript installed for it to work. Uh, but that is the only, the only thing. You will get errors, like I'm going to get an error when I show you how it works. Um, uh, because it, I don't have a JS conf 
or tsconf or whatever in the root of the the project but it the things that i use it for still work so um so with tide we basically set up a function that sets all the configuration options that that we want um this is the recommended way in the documentation um so that's the way i've done it so what we're doing here is tide setup is a built-in tide part of the tide package uh it's just the initial setup because we have flycheck enabled i'm adding enabling flycheck mode within tide uh also want to do flycheck check syntax automatically um which I believe um, checks it on save and potentially does something. I'm not entirely sure. I have that set. I've never had it not set. So I, if, um, I should really look into what it does because I could probably remove it. Um, this tied highlight identify mode, it basically, when you're on a variable or you're on um, a class or something, it will highlight all the other instances of that class in the file which is actually it sounds a bit annoying but it's actually really useful and finally because we have company we'll add company mode so once that function's set up we actually need to install tide from melpa so use package tide because it's on melpa ensure it's installed we want to ensure that it's loaded and all of its stuff's done after rjsx mode uh, company and fly check so they're kind of dependencies within emacs itself and we want to set up the hook so that when we go in rj r, rj sx mode um we're gonna call the function that we just defined above so that should all be okay if i save that and finally prettier um emacs this Prettier again is just um, is in Melpa, and it has very minimal uh, configuration. So you ensure it's true. Again, we want to do it after RGSX mode, and the hook that we're going to do. So on our, when RGSX mode is enabled, we want to enable Prettier JS 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 mode. Okay, so with all that done, let's just go through and, well, actually, before we do that, let's go projects, test project, app.js, and hopefully, if we, uh, oops, we do that, and then we just go back here, and we go over here, you'll see that there's no syntax highlighting within, uh, within the JSX block, so this is, I haven't, uh, executed the configuration yet so it's not using any of the any of the um, any of the packages that I've just defined and also if I do const testing equals oops testing um, and save it's it's fine with that obviously there's errors coming up but it's fine with it so if I now go over here and first of all I'll enable uh, RGSX mode head back over here and we'll revert revert the buffer uh, yes we should get syntax highlighting there we go so now we've got rjsx mode enabled you can see the bottom right down here it says rjsx that means that if we do something like div with the cursor at its current location i can do control d and it creates the closing closing tag puts me in the middle so i can do testing because we're all testing and then if i whoa don't get lost by mashing the keyboard if i go within a tag and i press Control c Control r in the bottom left in the uh, mini buffer you'll see it says new name uh, new tag name i can just change that to span it changes both the opening and the closing tag rgsx mode great and it has all the usual js um, syntax highlighting and everything as before Okay, now tide mode. Let's um, execute that first and then execute that. So that should hopefully work. So if we just uh, revert the buffer again, we should, all being well, 
so the t you saw it in the bottom ts server started successfully and then we've got current locate project root with the ts config js config file this is the warning that i was telling you about but it's fine so if we go over component you'll see at the top where it's imported component is shown and if i do um meta or alt uh full stop it will load it will jump to the definition for that component and then it'll take some time to show the syntax highlighting for some reason and then if i uh, meta comma it'll go back so then i can kill that which is mighty handy um that's the main thing that i use it for uh it does have some other niceties so if i if i do class my class and i open that and i say constructor and i just set this thing is one and then i can do get th i know this isn't very like this isn't the way you're meant to do things i'm just doing an example uh get thing and we'll return this thing and then we'll do uh set thing so that can just be called thing uh this thing equals thing okay so with that done i can now do const the class equals my class and then i should if i just say the class should that's fine then press dot yeah here we go it gives me so um the class my class has a, a, a property called underscore thing and if i and you can see get thing at the bottom of that list as well if i just type g it auto completes to get thing and if i click s it auto completes to set thing um in another video i'll i'll um, show install in the next video maybe i'll show installing el doc mode uh which means that if you've got that enabled and you enable it in tide it'll actually tell you the so with set thing it'll tell you that it's a function and what it um what it expects as a parameter but there you go um you could i think you can also do things like react dot um yeah so component because i think l doc um also categorizes these things as well so the the re um react uh properties will be first in the list rather than just all the random properties that could be so there you go so that's tied mode and then prettier so this just enforces things so you'll notice um oh, okay, actually let's revert the buffer first always good yes so you'll notice on this line at the end i haven't got a semicolon with prettier mode enabled i'm hoping this works if i save well, actually i'll have to make a change won't i um oh let's just delete my class because we don't need it i should get rid of it no, just for an example so if i save now you'll see the semicolon get got added to the end it also does things like if i just do some random random spaces like that and then save it gets rid of them or if i add multiple white space it'll get rid of them so it's just an auto formatter so you don't need to worry too much about the uh the code that you write so you can do like const my funk equals testing um testing two testing three testing four four testing five because i can't you know type and then we open this and we say console log things well fine we'll console log test because <laughs> i can't think of anything else so if i now save this oh um what's this unexpected token expected oh cont const there we go i know it's within the line limits so let's add some more here testing six testing seven man it's really hard to do this when you're just like slamming the keyboard to do an example so if i do that there we go it is now because it's gone beyond the line length for prettier it's now wrapped things and formatted it for me on save um i've gone really quick through this uh oh 
should also mention prettier you do also have to npm install g prettier for it to work like that is also a dependency <laughs> probably should have said that at the start and you know if you got to it and you're like oh cool i can just install pretty and then you've not actually watched the entire thing and and heard me say that you may get stuck uh, but if you have thanks and there you go it's a little little bit of bonus like bonus required knowledge for if you watched through through uh through to this point in the video let's get rid of all of this because we don't need it in our test project um so yeah i've gone really quickly through all that apologies for the rapid pace um but i figure i want to keep these videos quite short i don't want to be just be mincing around with the actual code like at the end this is what i do i kind of start mincing around and or not mincing around but just like chatting rubbish for a bit um as i said in another episode i think i'm going to cover el doc because it's uh it's really good for kind of giving you an idea and and giving you documentation and built-in documentation as well and it's not just for javascript it's for uh loads of languages um so i'll go into that next time i think on my emacs series um but yeah let me know down below uh your setup for javascript i mean this is over the last year or so i've been changing my um changing my javascript setup quite a bit uh, and trying different things out i've kind of settled on this one now it seems to work okay but if you do something different something that you think works better let me know uh, and if you know any of like the cool tied things that you can do or if i can replace i'd love to be able to replace like prettier with tide or rgsx mode with tide i don't think they do those things i need to check um but yeah uh let me know so yeah leave a comment below um like and subscribe ring the little bell thing ding ling ling tickle it tickle the bell uh if you're on library consider uh, f uh following and tipping and that's about it so cheers thanks for watching and i'll see you next time cheers bye done